hey there if we haven't met yet I'm Belinda welcome to my studio actually this is my kitchen my studio is over there but the light is better right here so we're gonna make a still life monotype a dark field monotype if you're making a monotype and you decide halfway through I don't like the way this is going you just get your brayer and re-roll more ink on top of what you've already done what you'll see are faint traces of your previous image underneath your new layer of ink, which acts as a little bit of a map so that you don't have to redo everything. You can just redo the parts that you didn't like. And you'll see in the video that I'm just adjusting the angles of this little still life setup. And also at the end, make sure you watch all the way because I'm going to alter the monotype with colored pencil because I want to adjust the values, the details, and give it a little punch of color. So let's take a look. So we're going to use a plate of plexiglass here and some Akua Intaglio ink in red oxide. I'm rolling it out on a spare sheet of plexiglass. I'm using that as a slab. This is non-skid underneath the plate and you'll see that it holds it nice and steady. If you were to do this one-handed on a tabletop, the plate would slide all over the place. So I highly recommend getting a roll of non-skid. If you're working in a single color, I recommend printing your reference material in a single color as well, black and white. The reference photo is there on the right, a lime on a cutting board, and I'm just removing the ink where the areas are the lightest on the photo. In dark field monotype, when you're working in a single color, you can consider your mark making carving light into the ink. Mark the ink with your fingertips as long as you've got gloves on paper towels, silicon tip shaping tools, cotton swabs, or a toothbrush, whatever works best to make marks in the ink. I'm going fast here because this is more about how to repair a monotype rather than how to make a monotype. There are other monotype tutorials here on my channel that go over some of the step-by-steps for this process. If you'd like to read more about monotypes, there are many posts that go back many years on my blog about the supplies and the process to make all sorts of monotypes. So I invite you to visit belindadelpesco.com. We're just about finished making marks here. It was at this point in the monotype where I decided that the cutting board angle and some of the other elements of the design were just a little crooked. So rather than wiping the plate and starting over, it's easier sometimes to just roll part or all of the plate with a fresh layer of ink. Depending on the ink that you use, you should be able to see through the ink to use the previous shapes on the under layer as a guide for adjusting your new upper layer of ink. This is particularly helpful if just a section of the monotype needs to be fixed. Charge your brayer with fresh ink and roll over just the parts that you want to repair and treat it like an eraser. Knowing that you can make adjustments as you go will help you be less tight gripping your tools and more relaxed in your mark making in the ink. Your design will be more interesting if you have a variety of values or half tones, variations between the lightest light, the darkest darks, and all the shades in between. We're ready to print on a soaked and blotted sheet of BFK Reeves printmaking paper. Part of the sizing here is deteriorated. That's that dark edge that soaked up too much water. But the rest of the sizing in the paper stayed intact and will work fine for this monotype. Now we could leave this as is, as a single color dark field monotype, or wait till the ink is dry and use other media on it the next day. I'm choosing to use colored pencil and the finished piece is called gibbous lime. I hope the re-inking of the plate and the added colored pencils show you how flexible this printmaking method is. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comments below. All the supplies are listed in the gibbous lime blog post on my blog. If you'd like to learn more about monotype printmaking, I have a course under construction that is an introduction to dark field monotype that covers everything that I wish that I knew when I first started making monotypes. It's like going to a week-long workshop and doing a deep immersion into the process of dark field monotype. And even still, we'll only just be scratching the surface, but it's a lot of material. So if you want to be notified when that's coming out, head on over to my blog, belindadelpesco.com. Sign up for my mailing list. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you make a monotype soon, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.